Here we're installing the rear mount bracket for these liquid fertilizer tanks. The rear mount uses a 16 millimeter by 55 millimeter bolts, three of them. That's it for the rear mount. I can move up to the front. The front mount goes on with four 20 millimeter by 55 millimeter bolts. Oh, got, oh right there, okay. front gets a 20 millimeter by 50 millimeter bolt and the back flange gets half inch by inch and three quarter inch bolts. Now with everything started, we can snug it all up. it for the mounting brackets. Now we'll show you how to put the tank in the tractor using the installation tool for a forklift. And we recommend removing one fork just for more clearance once you're up tight into the tractor.
This tool has holes in it if you have holes in the end of your forks to bolt it on so it can't slide off. Otherwise we can weld chain hooks on to chain it to your mask as well. Now once that is on, you want to make sure your tank lid is tipped to the outside of the tractor to bring the sump up at the bottom so you can get it past everything on the inside of the tractor.
straight in. We're there. And that is how the tanks go in the tractor. Now all that is left is to put the securing straps on and plumb it up however you would like. These are the straps for securing the tank into the saddles, just with the nylon woven through the buckle and the two full thread bolts, one on the front and one on the back. This one is all done and secured and has the breather hooked up. We've Tee them together in the corner of the cab, and then it runs up to the top of the cab. And you can't see it here, but that hose runs down alongside the tractor down to the bottom, so that if any product would get up and over that, it won't make a mess of your tractor. The hose comes down right here, you can see it coming down, and it's hanging down there. As you can see on this side, the ladder remains in the factory position as well, just slid out to its farthest point. Adequate clearance there, so everything can stay put 